Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. As you all know from the video that I most recently recorded and uploaded to my YouTube channel titled How I Am Going to Prepare for I believe my talk with the Mormons today I said that I would first and foremost read the book secondly after reading it give them an opportunity to ask me questions about it and thirdly, after giving them an opportunity to ask me questions about it, answer their questions. So, what I did was shortly after recording my video and uploading it to my YouTube channel, I read the Book of Mormon for at least an hour. And then after that, they called me and they asked me questions about that which I read from the Book of Mormon. I started off by telling them that what I read from the Book of Mormon was kind of like what I have read uh, from other books of scripture, such as the New King James Version of the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran with English translation and commentary by Maulana Muhammad Ali. I went on to say that it's almost like every prophet and or messenger of God uh, before they become a prophet or messenger of God has some kind of experience like Joseph Smith um, the founder the architect if I can say it like that of what you all nowadays call Mormonism uh, had. Um, I think is while he was in his bedroom one night, you know, he was awakened. And the next thing you know, um, he saw this bright light just show up in his room. Then the next thing you know, he saw, he saw what appeared to be a man or a human being who had on this long robe, no shoes, no socks, no head covering 
nothing over his face. And you know, he got the calling his name, telling him about different things. And then he went away. Later that night, the same thing happened. The angel came back to him, called his name, started talking to him about things. Then he went away. Later that night for the third time, the angel came back and called his name, started talking to him about different things. Then he went away. Um, as daylight was approaching, you no, know, he got himself ready to go out and do some work while he was out working. He said he was so tired, he was so exhausted that he couldn't help his father with the work. So his father ends up telling him to go home. So as he's making his way home, you know, he kind of falls out. He ain't got no strength. Then the next thing you know, he like looking up in the sky. And it's this angel. The angel telling him, look, go back and tell your father about your experience that you had last night. Tell him what I told you. So he goes back to his father and tells him about his experience that he had that night. And his father tells him that it had to be from God. So do what you was told to do. Um, no, so later, angel appears to him again and tells him the same thing that he had already told him three times. But this time where he would be able to find like the tablets, the gold tablets on which. Um, he would be able to find the sacred message that God wanted him to give to the people. So fast forward, he ends up going there after the angel tells him that it's okay for him to go there. And, you know, he finds the golden plates and he writes down what he writes down. And now you have what's called the book of Mormons. Now, when you take his experience and relate it to some of the other experiences that prophets and messengers of God had, it's kind of the same because it's always when they was somewhere doing something that an angel of God supposedly appeared to them, called them by their name and gave them instructions on what to do what to say then after that they went back and told the people about it some people believed them some people didn't so this is what you have with what the mormons called prophet joseph smith a man who received a revelation from an angel of god who after uh, receiving that revelation from an angel of God, went out where he was instructed to go to, found some golden place on which um, there was sacred writings that he was told to write down and whatnot. And now you have the Book of Mormons. Um, I ended up reading... The witness, the three witnesses, the eight witnesses in like testimonies of people who said that they saw the golden place that the angel told him um, about and where to find him at. Then it opens up with the book of Nephi. Uh, well, father is told that certain things is going to happen to the city of Jerusalem because of the people you know doing what they do like the people of the day doing what the hell they want to do so 
to take his family, leave his house, his possession and all of that and go out into the wilderness and he'll tell him what to do. Um, his two sons you know, murmuring against the father because they don't believe that what he was told was told to them by God. Um, the youngest son, you know, who was supposedly seeking after God since he was a youth, believing them. And now uh, they are being told to go back to Jerusalem to retrieve some brass plates, I believe, with the genealogy of their family on it. So I guess God can do, you know, what he um, wants to do with him through his genealogy since he's going to destroy the people of Jerusalem and whatnot for what they are doing. Um, I consider it to be a very interesting book. So like I told the young man on the phone, I'll tell you, I intend you to keep on reading it until I have read it in its entirety and then after that if they won't call me and talk to me about it they can it's just that i have other days set up where i read other things so i can't talk to them as much as i would like to talk to them about their book every day because if i were to do that i wouldn't be able to read and study the other things that i read and study on other days so, in perhaps eight days, they'll call me back so we can talk a little bit more about what I've read from their book. And that's it. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you.